Okay, so we're going over some probability here. Um, and we're going to make up a question here. <clears throat> and we're just going to compare successes and failures. Um, so <clears throat> let's say that we're reaching into uh, a candy jar. And you either have red candies, okay? So you have red candies, or you have green. <clears throat> And it turns out, somebody's counted them all, that there are eight red candies and six green, whoops, six green candies, okay? So that's going to give us a total of 14, okay? So our question, our first question A asks us uh, the probability of, let's say the probability of, Five probability of exactly three of three being red. Okay, exactly three being red. So <clears throat> what we're looking through here is we have our formula here, and I believe it's Bernoulli's uh, theorem here, and what it is is our n is the number of trials. Okay, so n is the total number of trials here. X stands for our number of successes. P is the probability of success, Q is the probability of failure, and then it's to the exponent of our successes, or sorry, our total minus our successes, which is essentially our failures in this question. So, probability of three being red. In other words, we have to find the probability of choosing a red candy. Well, if there is eight out of 14 total, that is our P value, which then makes our Q value, in this case, essentially choosing a green, our Q value would be the other 6 out of 14, right? Our probabilities have to add up to 100%. Um, the number of trials, we're going to say we've chosen 3 here, I guess. So we've taken out 3 of the candies. So our N, or sorry, probability of 3 being red, if we choose... Oh, sorry, and we're going to say that we've pulled out um, 5 total, okay? So we've taken 5 total. What's the probability of three of them being red, okay? So having three successes out of the total of five that we've chosen. So our n value will be our five, and our x value here, um, our x value is gonna be our three. Those are gonna be our number of successes. So when we go to put it into the probability, what's the probability that we have three successes, three red candies? Well, we have a total of five candies drawn. Three of them we want to be red, okay? Our probability is our 8 out of 14 to the power of our 3 multiplied by 6 out of 14, which is the probability of failure, and 5 minus 3, which is essentially two of them not being red, the other two being green. So we have our combination, 5 choose 3, 8 over 14 to the power of 3 multiplied by 6 over 14 to the power of 2. What does our combination give us there? Do you know? Uh, 10. 10? Okay, so we have 10 multiplied by <clears throat> these values here. And we can probably do that all in one step on our calculator. I'm going to do that right now. If we take our calculator out. <clears throat> That's 8 divided by 14 to the power of 3 equals times... 6 divided by 14 to the power. I'm not sure if I can do that in one step on my calculator. To the power of 2. Oh, I don't think that worked on mine. Did you get a number when you went through this? No. Why don't you give it a try here? <clears throat> I can do it as fractions really quickly, and then we'll. Uh, this calculator is kind of a one line calculator. 8. 12, 4 to the power of 13, those are the power of 3, 2,744. These are essentially the numbers we're going to be multiplying, 36 over 14 squared, 196. So these are the, the fractions you'll have to multiply. I'm sure you could do it in one step on your calculator. What did you end up getting? I got 
Oh, I didn't do the 10. 14. 14. Title of calculator error. The value we got was 0.34 in the end when we multiplied all these together, which means there's about a 34% chance that if we pull out five candies, that exactly three of them will be red. Okay?